Welcome back everyone. I'm going to show you how to split screen multitask in a way on your iOS device, whether it's running iOS 12, iOS 13. This might even work for iOS 11 as well, but I'm going to show you on my iPhone 11. Now, this is the best we got for a free method of multitasking. There's a paid way to do it, which I would probably recommend more than this way. And that one is called Floating Dock Plus 13, I think it's called or whatever. And that is actually like iPad multitasking on your iOS device, which if you want to pay money for it, go for it. But this is a free way to do it. So, you know, if you're a broke boy like me, this is how we're going to do it. Now, this method is actually really, really cool because you can use two main apps, like huge apps, simultaneously. But honestly, I just don't like the layout. Like, I don't like how it's like the toggles up top that looks like macOS. Like, I kind of wish it wasn't like that. But as you can see, we have Safari on the right side. We have settings on the left side and we can kind of go through and still use it. All the toggles work. General, if I go to about, you can see all my information, this, the software update and all that stuff. And that's pretty much what we got. And to exit out, all you do is click those X's up top. And I guess we can go back into it whenever, but I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. If you want to fully go out of it, I'm sure you just hop out like that. Nope, I wasn't clicking the X, my bad. So what you want to do is you want to go into your Cydia. First of all, you need to be jailbroken. So if you want to jailbreak your device, click that first link down in the description. That'll show you a tutorial if you're on iOS 13 or below or whatever. If you have a device that's like an iPhone 11 or iPhone 11 Pro, or whatever. However, if you have an iPhone 10 or below, you can jailbreak those devices on any version of software. And I'll link that in the second link down in the description. So first jailbreak your device. That's the main thing to do. Now, once you have that out of the way, what you want to do is you want to go into Cydia and you'll be presented here and you want to go into your sources and you want to click that third link down in the description and you want to go ahead and just copy it. And all you want to do there is you want to click edit you want to click add source and all you want to do is just paste that third link into your repo section right here. You might already have this repo, it really just depends, but you just want to paste that link right there. And once you have that, it'll take like another minute or two for it to fully go through so you can pause the video if that's the case. But once you have that all set, what you want to do is you want to go under your search bar right here. You want to click search up there and you want to start typing and you want to type in Milky Way 2. As you can see, it comes right there. Now, if you're on iOS 12, you can just install Milky Way 1 if you want to. But I'd probably recommend Milky Way 2 if you have the option to. So as you can see, I'm on iOS 13, so I'm going to click there. And as you can see, we have a ton of different options right there. And as you can see, we have a whole little catalog of all the little things that are brought into this specific update and all those different things and how to use it and all that stuff. All you want to do here is you want to click Modify and you want to click Install. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not about to reinstall it but you can downgrade or remove whatever, but just go ahead and click install. And that'll take like another extra like couple seconds, probably like 30 seconds. And at that point, you just want to restart your springboard. And all you're there, it should automatically be enabled by default. So all you have to do there is go ahead and open an app. So I'll go ahead and open up Safari, for example. And all you have to do is just put it through the side. And all you need to do now is just long press it. And then you'll get a little toggle on the left. And it's crazy because you can only move this one and it moves both of them, which is kind of funny. But once you hop out, you have this whole thing right here and it's a whole different app, which is so cool. If I go into settings, for example, same thing, hop out, long press this. It kind of has to be like the main screen right there. Long press it there. And as you can see, it comes right there. I can go and grab this, move it wherever I want to. Now, what I will say is don't get too crazy. Don't start putting a bunch of panel. I mean, you can if you want to, it's your phone. But the thing is, one thing that I saw is that once you go ahead and lock your screen, as you can see, it does cover up a little bit of those panels when you on your lock screen. So if you have a ton of different apps, it might be kind of hard to go ahead and swipe up. So keep that in mind, but you can always exit out of them. Now, one thing that I saw is that it always glitches up here, but once I go into the multitasking panel, then they come back. So kind of keep that in mind too. You can always increase the size of these little boxes as well. I was able to do it before, but I'm not able to do it now, but you can increase the sizes by grabbing these edges right here. Oh, there we go. And that's pretty much the process. <laughs> it looks a little goofy at first, but I think there's still some ways to go about getting some functionality out of it. So that's pretty much it. If you want to exit out of it, click that red X like I showed in the beginning like that, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.